Hey guys, today in Art Club with Miss Burford, we're going to be making Christmas jumper bunting. You will need a variety of different coloured A4 card with jumpers printed onto them, some felt tip pens, a pair of scissors, a hole punch and some twine or ribbon. There is a quick five minute prep to do which involves your coloured sheets of card, go onto the internet and find a printable jumper outline. I think I just literally typed in jumper printable for these. And then you want to put two onto an A4 sheet, cut the page in half so each child has one on an A5 sheet of card. This is a quick and easy but fun project that can be adapted to Christmas but still include the art stuff that you're looking at. So allow each child to choose which colour card they'd like for their jumper to be. There's a variety of different designs that you can do on these jumpers, which is what makes it fun and adaptable for everyone. But you can practice your line and pattern drawing and create some very realistic looking jumpers. So look at swoops, waves, zigzags, different lines like that. And you can create a jumper just like this one. And then you're just gonna do it in felt tip pen. So there's hardly any mess. And then you can just color in the collar and the sleeves and the waistband. Um, and I went for a contrasting color of purple because the background's like a yellow. So you could also incorporate learning about contrasting colors. Another design idea that you could do is to give the children the task of coming up with their own design but it has to be based on just using one colour. So I went for a blue with a grey background and tried to create a snowy scene. This jumper was inspired by the artist Mondrian and this could work alongside the artist that you're looking at in your everyday art lessons and base your Christmas jumper designs on their art style so look at their features and what makes it their work and include this on your Christmas jumper designs. If you'd like to use paint instead of felt tip pens then of course go ahead and then you could do this idea of using stamps, you could create your own stamps or use ready made Christmas stamps depending on how much time you have to create your own Christmas jumper patterns. Of course you could create designs by finger printing too. And finally, for the really young ones, you can get them to create their own Christmas jumpers by using embellishments. Um, so these could be pom-poms, sequins, glitter, foam shapes, anything like that so they can create their own pattern. Whichever design idea you choose to do with your class, of course, they all have the same ending. They will all need to be cut out. And about a third of the way down the jumper sleeve, so from the shoulder, you'll want to create a hole. So use a hole punch to do one on either side of the jumper, so on, one on each sleeve. Then invite the children up to add their Christmas jumper to the ribbon or twine. And the idea for this is to go in to the hole from the front of the jumper, around the back of the jumper and through the hole again on the other side. By doing this, your jumper design won't be covered by ribbon or twine. Continue to add jumpers until you have a full class to create your bunting. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more art lessons like this on a Monday and other art related content every now and then. See you next week for more art with Miss Burford!